What does the job registration requirement mean for employers and job seekers? In February 2014, the Swiss electorate voted to accept the Stop Mass Immigration Initiative. In response, Parliament introduced the requirement to register job vacancies for occupation types determined to have a high unemployment rate, with the aim of better mobilizing the potential of the domestic workforce. Regional Employment Centres, or RAV, will play an important role. From 1 July 2018, employers are required to register job vacancies with the RAV if the national unemployment rate in the occupation types of the job vacancies exceeds 8%. This affects around 1 in 10 job vacancies. From 1 January 2020, this threshold will be lowered to 5%. Job seekers registered with a RAV benefit from a head start of five working days, with exclusive access to job vacancy information before it is published elsewhere. The RAV may also provide employers with a list of suitable candidates. Let's take a look at how this is applied in practice. This is Petra Schmid, HR manager for a logistics company with 250 employees. She is looking to fill two positions one in the warehouse and one as a kitchen assistant in the company's cafeteria. Ms. Schmid consults www.work.swiss or her nearest RAV to see if the occupations of warehouse worker and kitchen assistant are among the occupation types that have to be registered. As both occupation types have an unemployment rate above 8%, Ms. Schmid has to register the vacancies with the RAV. She is not yet allowed to advertise the vacancies publicly. There are, however, exceptions to the job registration requirement in certain circumstances. If Ms. Schmid were able to fill the job vacancies internally or with a close relative of an authorized signatory, she would not have to register them. The same applies in the case of short-term employment lasting up to 14 calendar days. As HR manager, Ms. Schmid is also not required to register the job vacancies if she finds and hires job seekers registered at the RAV herself. For the most part, registered job seekers' profiles are published on work.swiss, making it easy for employers to search for candidates. For Ms. Schmid, one thing is certain – she will register both job vacancies with the RAV. Meet Jonas Keller. He has been a warehouse worker for many years and is registered as a job seeker at his local RAV. And this is Verena Meyer. She has also been registered at her local RAV for some time and is currently looking for a job as a kitchen assistant. HR manager Petra Schmid is able to register both of her job vacancies quickly and easily via www.work.swiss. Now that Ms. Schmid has submitted all the necessary information, she receives notification from the RAV that her job vacancies will be made accessible exclusively to registered job seekers, such as Jonas Keller and Verena Meyer, for the next five working days. This gives registered job seekers a head start. During the first three working days following registration of the job vacancy, the RAV may propose suitable candidates to fill the vacancy. In this case, Jonas Keller fits the warehouse worker profile perfectly, so the RAV forwards his CV to Ms. Schmid. Any registered job seeker may send their CVs to Ms. Schmid directly, regardless of the RAV's placement support. Thanks to the five-day head start, Verena Meyer was one of the first job seekers to see Ms. Schmid's advert and immediately applied for the job as kitchen assistant. She is invited to an interview and has been placed on the shortlist. Ms. Schmidt has quickly been able to find suitable candidates as a result of the job registration requirements and the RAV's placement support. Jonas Keller and Verena Meyer have both benefited from the head start of having exclusive access to information, which increased their chances of finding work. You can find further information on the job registration requirement at work.swiss.